The Kansas City Chiefs are on the road to take on the Buffalo Bills. My two best bets are on the way. What's going on? My name's Austin from Call on Our Shot. And man, this is going to be a doozy of a game. I know a lot of you guys are amped up for it. I'm going to talk about my two favorite player props and talk about who I think wins and covers at the end of this video. We will have a separate video for the other game featured earlier on in the day in the Buccaneers vs. Lions. So if you're interested in what my favorite picks are in that game, that video was already posted right before this one. Go check it out. I'll link it at the end of this video as well as down below. We are trying to go on an 8-0 run on our Lions same game parlays. If you know, you know, we got another one this weekend and hopefully we can continue to cook the books. But either way, you guys came here for some NFL picks. We're going to dive right into them one of my favorite ones of the weekend is going to be this free square on sleeper it's for patrick mahomes get you one yard it's only for new users but the best part about it is if you sign up using our code cos or the link in the description not only will you get the free square you also get a match in your first deposit up to five hundred dollars yeah pretty d pretty dang good deposit match offer so if you are new to sleeper we use that i like i said i use all these daily fantasy apps a ton living in florida so i use them a good amount definitely take advantage of that offer use our code cos or the link in the description get a match on your first deposit up to 500 bucks and also get that uh, patrick mahomes free square worth noting also a free square for patrick mahomes on underdog fantasy talked about that a little bit more in the other video with the bucks lions game but you guys came here for nfl picks we're diving to the first one a guy you probably know who he is his name's josh allen i like his over 32 and half passing attempts minus 115 on bet 365 now i was going between pass attempts and pass yards based on the how the chiefs defense has played this season i landed on attempts but i think both go hand in hand and honestly we know how big of a test this is for the bills i mean the, the chiefs have been their kryptonite as patrick mahomes and the chiefs will come into town and they're not i don't think gonna have a ton of success running the football and i think they're gonna have to throw it. we've seen teams do that time and time again against the chiefs it's like hey even if you're up by a touchdown, you know Patrick Mahomes. Even if you're up by two touchdowns, you still got to be aggressive because you know how how good Patrick Mahomes is at just coming back. And next thing you know, you blink and the game's tied when you're already up two scores. That's just how it works. And we've seen Josh Allen so far this year, not the best hit rate. Let's talk about his over 32 and a half pass attempts, though. He's done that in nine of 18 games, so about 50% of the time. He's had 30 pass attempts, though, in 14 of 18, 32 in 11 of 18. He's finished on the hook twice with 32 on the dot. But you see him, 30 pass attempts nearly every single game this season. So the floor is there. Maybe this match against the Chiefs sees them a tick a little bit more towards passing. And you've seen Allen, like I said, a high floor. And this, given the team's history against each other, I anticipate them leaning on his arm. And we've seen in his last five games versus Kansas City, he's had 48, 26, 37, 40, and 42 pass attempts. The 42 came this season in a victory at Kansas City when he threw 42 times. Now, obviously, we saw last week. Buffalo Bills took care of, of, of uh, they took care of the Steelers. I mean, they smoked them. Was it, the final score was 14 points. They're up 14-0 within the first quarter. In that game, Allen, 30 pass attempts. He completed 21 of them. Very efficient day for him. But they passed, they ran it 34 times. Yeah, I don't see them having it that big of a lead against the Chiefs. And the Chiefs defense has been really, really good this season, allowing the fourth lowest completion percentage this season. That number does go up from 55% completion to 64% on the road. So you might have a better day completing passes, but they've also allowed 36.6 pass attempts per game on the road this season, the eighth most. Teams haven't really been able to run a ton against them, and they're going to have to throw the ball, and I think that's what they're going to have to do here. Now, let's talk about what happens if you know stuff hits the fan. Well, what if the Bills are losing here? If you know the Bills, they're probably going to abandon the run. And even if they aren't losing, they'll probably still throw it. But let's say they are losing in this game. In six Buffalo Bills losses this season, Allen, he's attempted 26, 38, 40, 41, 41, and 51 passes. So over this line in five of six losses. And the game's decided by less than 10 points. So they could heck even win the game. I don't care if they win it. The game's decided by less than 10. Allen's over this line in eight of 12 such games. Obviously in blowouts, if they blow them out, Probably a good chance that he's not throwing the ball 33 times. Maybe he has an efficient day, goes over pass yards. But I think that in a game where I expect the Chiefs to keep it close, put the pressure on the Bills, regardless if the Bills win or lose, I don't really care here. I think they have to throw the football a ton. And look, Mahomes, I, I would be surprised if he got blown out on the road, even though people say this is you know his first road playoff game. I expect Mahomes to show up. So give me this over for Josh Allen at 32 and a half pass attempts. I like it at 33 and a half. I think Mahomes and Allen are going to be throwing it a ton. We know when you're in a pivotal game like this, it's a team that always beats you. Allen's going to want to dictate this game a lot. I don't think you want they want to hand. I don't think he's going to want to hand it off a ton. Sure, he might get his rush attempts in there, but I really do think that the Chiefs are going to make him throw the ball, especially given they're down Gabe Davis too. I really think the Chiefs are going to trust their secondary and force Allen to throw the ball. And if he has an inefficient day, we probably have a good chance of going over this 32 and a half pass attempts. Now, my second pick is going to be on the other QB in this game. You probably know him, Patrick Mahomes. I like his over 250 and a half passing yards minus 115 on points bet. Personally, I would play this about. 258 and a half. Now, I was this close. I was going back and forth. I started the write up for his passing yards, started the write up for his passing attempts. I couldn't decide which one. 
I ended up on his passing yards for a couple different reasons why. Now, if you recall last week's video, which if you do, I really do appreciate you for tuning in, not just this week, but also last week, I did take Patrick Mahomes' pass attempts, and that line was about as free as it gets. I think it was 33 and a half, had 26 in the first half, 15 in the second half, 41 pass attempts for 262 yards. Not a great game, though, for him. Completed just 56% of his passes. Is actually only his fifth game below 60% this season. And I noticed his completions line remained at around 24 and a half, juiced on the over. And I think this is a better game for Mahomes in terms of efficiency and completion percentage. Now, look at him on the year. Obviously, it's been a you know up and down year for the, with the Chiefs offense. But this year, he is over this line in 9 of 17 games, including 4 of 7 on the road. And we've seen his last five games versus Buffalo, 325, 272, 378, 338, and 271 yards going over in all five. Obviously, let's talk with the elephant in the room. He does not have the same weapons as he might have had in those previous seasons. Obviously, no Tyreek Hill and other guys. But end of the day, I think he's going to have to continue to throw it because the Bills' defense is banged up. The only thing healthy on the Bills is their defensive line. They got a majority of those guys pretty healthy. But outside of that, the secondary banged up. Their safeties are healthy, but they might be down there two star. There's two best corners, even a backup corner. The linebackers are banged up too. And at the end of the day, I think that the advantageous spot for the Chiefs is throwing the ball. And I think they already are a team that lean more towards passing because you've got Patrick Mahomes. I think they're going to lean on the pass even more here. And as I said earlier, Mahomes completed less than 60% of his passes last week that was just the fifth time this season where he went below 60 percent in the previous four instances the next week threw for 305 281 298 and 305 yards completing well above 60 percent of his passes buffalo you know middle middle tier in terms of completion percentage allowed to qbs and i think that patrick mahomes will be able to pick and choose his spots just as the hope is pass catchers catch the ball but he's going to put it and put them in good spots and when they're on the when they're on in the in the playoffs what does andy reed do he throws the ball with Patrick Mahomes. It's what you do. I mean, you're, he's the best quarterback in the NFL. 15 career playoff games with Mahomes. He's over this line in 13 of them with an average of 289 yards per game. Look, if Pacheco wants to go off, be my guest. But I really think that Mahomes is going to have to throw it a ton. I think the attempts is not a bad line at 36 and a half. But I feel like at a 250 and a half passing yards line, maybe something fluky happens where Justin Watson or Marcus valdez Gandlin get steep and you get a big pass play, which certainly could happen because they're going to focus on Rice and Kelsey. I think that when they're banged up in the secondary, maybe that happens and maybe that's easier to catch the passing yards. So that's why I'm doing the pass yards for Mahomes. I think it's a tad easier at 250 and a half. So those are my two plays of the day. Uh, Josh Allen's over in pass attempts. Patrick Mahomes over in pass yards. Now let's talk with this game who I think wins. I lean the Chiefs plus the three points. I just don't feel, it doesn't feel right betting against Mahomes. Not saying the Bills can't win. And if, you know, ideal world, if I'm not going to bet on the Chiefs plus three, because I already have enough money on Allen and Mahomes, but I lean the Chiefs just Patrick Mahomes. You get plus money. I don't mind the money line there, but this is going to be a good game. There's really, not, I, don't let me dictate where you're going to bet here because I think that this is going to be a really tight game almost the whole stretch. That's how these teams normally do it. They always play tight games. So we should be in for a doozy. I just think I would lean the Chiefs if I had to, but the Bills have been really good. They've been cooking over the last, you know, seven weeks or so. So I can see the Bills winning. I can see the Chiefs winning. I honestly have no idea on the over under. So I'm not even putting a lean for it because I have no idea if it goes over or under. I lean the Chiefs plus three because I think they're going to keep this game within a field goal maybe that pushes but i think at the end of the day you go with your gut i lean the chiefs plus three you go with whatever you're feeling bills could easily win that would not surprise me at all which is why i'm not making an, an official pick but two picks josh allen pass attempts patrick Mahomes passing yards two picks let's dominate absolutely destroy the books on sunday as always if you want to check out my favorite picks for that buccaneers versus lions game including my Lions same game parlay of the week which is seven and oh this season Click on the link in the link on the video. Over link, somebody linked here. If you don't see the link, it's down below in the description. You guys have a wonderful Sunday. I'll recap how all of our picks did next week for the or the championship round games. I'll see you guys then. You guys have a great day. See you in the next one. Peace.